Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 66 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I did a lot of footage aside from getting more magic for everyone. I finally ran into that Brachia store in the Dinosaur Forest. I had Realm with me, which made it a lot easier. How Realm made it a lot easier? Well, it was because of control. And I kept spamming, well, ice spells against it to, well, not get hit by Brachiosaur at all! I managed to steal a ribbon thanks to Locke, and, well, when, she, when it was controlled, every time I steal and fail, it would still be under control, because I was not a physical attack. If I was luckier, I could have got a Celestriad, which reduces all magic usage to 1 MP. Unfortunately, Reflect question mark would actually increase in cost, because normally that's a zero MP attack. So yeah, it's weak against ice, over 46,000 HP, and if you waited too long, it could have casted Ultima on you. Also, I was very, very busy in the Colosseum. What I did was I turned a Fuma Shuriken into a Pinwheel, which I turned into a Rising Sun, which I turned into a Bone Club, which I turned into a Red Jacket. So, I got a red jacket for Edgar and Sabin. I bet the royal crown, because I don't use that anymore, and got a Genji helm. And I took, like, a Moogle suit to fight a Cherry, which I then turned into a Nutkin suit, which you face another Espido Kalan to get Genji armor. As long as I kept this up, I had plenty good armor to use. Stuff that I no longer use can turn into better things. I think that's going to be enough for now. All preparations aside, let's finally head for Kefka's tower. This time for real. Yep, we're going in. Finally. Okay, we're going to come up with some team captains. Terra will be Captain 1, Locke will be Captain 2, and Celeste will be on Team 3. I'm going to consider putting Realm in with Locke. Strago in with Terra. Might put Edgar in with Terra too. And probably Sabin there as well. As for Locke's team, I'm gonna put in, say. Uh, probably gonna go with Shadow. And then I'll go with Gao. And Cyan will be in with Celeste. So we'll Setzer and Mog. I think that's the team I'm going to go with for now. If it's not working for me, then I'll just leave and try a different team. I figure this would be a great setup. Let's hope it is. Besides, the reason I put Gao on Locke's team is because, well, he could get a bit stronger. I figured why not put him in with some strong party members to compensate for his low level. Okay, this time it's for real. Okay, I'm gonna optimize your armor. Okay, I don't want the Zantet Sukin on Edgar, I want the Holy Lance on him. Paladin's Shield, I managed to break the curse off footage. This is a great shield. It not only absorbs holy, fire, ice, and thunder, it also negates water, wind, earth, and poison. It can also teach you Ultima at the same rate as Ragnarok Esper. And not only that, it's a very awesome shield altogether. So let me keep the Genji Helm and Genji Armor on Edgar. Sabin, do you have the right stuff? Yeah, that's good enough. Actually, I'll... I don't really need the red jacket to negate fire ant damage if I can absorb it with the Paladin Shield. Actually, if I'm gonna do that, I'm better off putting the Paladin Shield on someone else. Let me put the Thunder Shield on you. And go to the red jacket. And is this the right setup? Uh, I ran out of Thunder Shield, so... So yeah, I think this is gonna be good enough. Okay, Edgar is close to leveling up, therefore I will put a Strength Esper on you, Gilgamesh. Uh, Strago, you can use Zona Seeker. Terra, you have Balagarmanda. Actually, is Saban closer to leveling up? No, far from it. Let's see if you can learn any more magic in the meantime. Uh, let's have Leviathan on you for now. 
see if you can learn some water magic. Well, I almost forgot to go to the relics. Earring and ribbon's good, earring and white cape. Uh, I'll put on the dragon horn and the dragoon boots. Now I'm gonna make Edgar the ultimate dragoon for now. And as for Sabin, I'll put on, say, an earring and an amulet. I'll save the ribbons for the other team. Or other teams. At least now I don't have to look for the treasures, because I already got them all up to this point. Therefore, I can just go straight on. I haven't run into a single enemy yet. Oh, this will too soon. Okay, Great Behemoth and Vector Lithos. Okay, what I want to do is put that Great Behemoth to sleep. And as for Vector Lithos, well, ice and water will do the trick. So I'll consider using not Blizzaga, but Flood. Actually, Blizzaga would be a better choice. It's less costly. Only by a little, though. But still less costly. Luckily, Blizz Ice is uh, a weakness of the Great Behemoth, too. So you're killing two birds with one stone. Well, technically three birds with one stone, but you get the idea. It's a good idea to put this guy to sleep. Because if you don't and hit him, he'll counter with Haymaker. That's very powerful. I don't know if this guy has Meteor as a standard attack, but I'd rather avoid any attack coming from him. Look at all that experience. Okay, let's see who's close to leveling up now. Astrago is. Okay, good. I'll keep this on for now. Usually when you go to, like, different areas, you'll run into different enemies altogether. Here, I'll show ya. Speaking of which, here's the Dark Force. We fought many of these in the Colosseum, and they're a great source of lures for Strago if you haven't learned them all. Luckily, they're weak against level 5 death, so use that. Oh, that is just tr Oh, it didn't work. The roulette still kicked in. I guess I just got my move off in time. That's good. That's really good. Good thing I didn't run into a Yojimbo here yet. They're very annoying. They tend to kill you off after you beat them. But luckily, if you use Imp on them, you have nothing to worry about. Up oh, here's a couple new enemies. Primeval Dragon and Great Mal Malboro. Uh, let me try stop on you. I'm gonna have Edgar jump. Take on that great Marlboro. There we go. The great Marlboros are weak against fire, too, so use that. And the primeval dragons are weak against ice. Okay, if it manages to survive, Edgar will take care of the rest. Lifeshaver, ouch! Ooh, this could be a killer. Oh, maybe not. It's just spamming it multiple times, though. There we go. Yeah, usually with a dragon horn, you get two shots most of the time. If you're lucky, like really lucky, you'll get four shots. Now that's power. Alright, who's up to level up? Ah, Terra is. You got Valak Armanda on, good. Actually, I don't think it's gonna matter. You gotta go to team two now. So let's take these Espers off. So I can use them for the next team. You did a good job, but this is as far as you can go. Alright, team two, you're up. Okay, Valiant Knife, that's what I want. Uh, come to think of it, I'm gonna have Lock with a Paladin Shield. And as for you, you get the Holy Rod. And you get, say... Hmm, 
probably a Mithril Shield. Because the Cat Ear Hood is good for negating some other spells anyway. And the Behemoth Suit. Shadow, you get the Kaganui. You get a Thunder Shield. Uh, a Red Cap. And some Genji Armor. Gao, you will get... Uh, no more Thunder Shields. So I'll put a Force Shield on you. A uh, Red Cap. And a Snow Scarf. Well, you don't get 255 defense, so that's close enough. Eve Spracer, I'll keep the Master Scroll on you for now. Put a Ribbon on Realm. And let's see. I would consider a fake mustache. Yeah, I think I will put a fake mustache on. Shadow, you are going to use a memento ring. And let's see. Earrings be good. As for Gao, put an earring on you. And what else? Amulet. Alright, we're good. Okay, four Vector Lithoses together. And they will die together. Shadow, you use a Water Scroll. Of course, the Master Scroll is best served on Setzer, but I'll take that off once I go to Team 3. Okay, Realm, use a Blizzaga. Take them all out. Hey, all down for the count. Oh, I forgot to put the espers on. Luckily, nobody gained a level. Eh, Shadow's the closest. The Zona Seeker on you. Dalek Armanda on you. I think I'll put Bahamut on you. And as for Gao, I think we'll go with Fenrir. Get you some more MP. Now let's keep going. Don't need to go that way. I mean up, I'll go down. Now I gotta take on the great Malvros again. Now uh, Brown, why don't you try to control him? That didn't work. I'll have to consider putting stop on all of them because they got a very nasty counter. Usually whenever you cast a magic spell. You know, it's nothing bad, just something that instant kills you. You know, nothing wrong. Okay, once they're all stopped, they're at my mercy. I might just try to steal from Winlock. If they manage to live. Eh, just a teleport stone. Nothing too special. Uh, throw a flame scroll. Eh, never mind. You get to save it, Shadow. Uh, is anyone else real close? Cause I got over 2,000 experience. Oh, Realm's real close. But I already got the Espers on, therefore I have nothing to worry about. No need to go north, let's go south. Yay, I'm in the bathroom! And they're all broken. Okay, Realm, get us all fully healed. Now let's take on a boss. This here is the Ultima Buster. I am the one known as Ultima. Forged an eternity long ago and left here, forgotten in the mist of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long have I pondered. But now it seems I have an answer. Oh dear, now it's getting really powerful. And now we have to fight. So be it. Okay, Gao, start things off with Hastiga. Shadow, you use a Fuma Shuriken. It doesn't really matter what spell you use because it doesn't have a weakness. So 
use Flare. Lock, you try to steal. Just do as much damage as you can, as fast as you can. Because this guy can be quite brutal. Therefore, spells like Flare will do the trick. Eh, try Pinwheel. Tends to counter a lot. Huh, a blood sword, if you really care to use one. Ah, Firaga. Is it any bad? Nope, not really. The Paladin's Shield really helped Locke. Even though this is a long animation, Flare will have to do. Very high magic defense, though. Then again, that was Gao who casted it. Lock should get healed again. Oh, so did Gao because of that, the uh, Snow Scarf. Uh, Shadow, you don't have Valor. Therefore, I'll let Gao cast it, if he has it. There, now everyone should get an extreme boost in their offense. But it's only for one move. Oh, Locke, you're gonna have to heal everyone. Alright, so now you try a Fuma Shuriken. Should have used Kiraga, considering that was Locke, but oh well. Too late now. I'll let Realm do the healing. Woohoo! And look at that power. And just using Tsunami on us. Alright, try another Flare Gal. If you let him linger for too long, he'll cast Ultima, and that is not a good thing. Here's another Fuma. Hopefully I'll take him out soon. I think if you cast like multiple spells on him, then he'll start using Ultima. Then it becomes a serious problem. Ah, still alive. Okay, nice offense lock. Should've put you in the front row though. Oh, Meteor! I think we're gonna need a Kiraga gal. Ooh, we need a serious one. Uh, one from you too, Lock. No, gal is probably gonna heal us just fine. Use Bahamut. Hopefully this is enough. No, it isn't. Uh, use your last pinwheel. Uh-oh, Quake! I knew I should have casted Float to start things off, but I forgot about Quake. Ouch! That was painful. Almost got killed off. Well, except for Locke, anyway. Because he negates Quake. Ah, still alive! It's very tough. Oh, it's still hanging on. I'm gonna have Gao use Valor again. That way, Shadow is sure can will do more damage again. I'm counting on him more than ever. Strange Light surrounds Ultima. Oh, that's not good. Shadow, you better finish him off. Got him! There, he was charging up for Ultima. I'm really underleveled for this. But at least his team did the job. You have to put Locke in the front row more. 
Because his Valiant Knife is not doing enough for me, due to him being in the back. There, just by beating Ultima Buster, you don't unlock anything except a save point. So I will take advantage of that. Therefore, I will stop the video right here. Next part, Team 2 will continue to go further. See everyone.